No autofills on our team and no one has big loss streaks in the master history, so Bobby's looking good. Unfortunately, he banned Yumi, so it doesn't really hide. If he banned a mid laner and picked Nico, it would make them think it's Nico mid because there is a challenger Nico mid main. But he banned Yumi, so they'll probably think it's Nico support anyways. Locket looks really good into Rumble. The AoE resists and shield. Might just rush it first item. Zanya's, I don't need Zanya's versus either of these champs so far, right? I could greed on my runes here and go for the scaling room, but because my ADC picks something that wants to play super aggro and play like to dominate lane, I think it's better for me to just play second win. We reduce, I'll have a bit worse scaling, but actually we go bone plane. Bone plane will have better scaling. Bone plane is really good versus Miss Trump, Misfortune. And Seraphine usually takes Ares, so even if she procs it, it'll still get some value. I don't need the scaling rune into this lane matchup if I play well, but I think or I could take greed it, but I think with a Tristana who wants to be going for early all-ins and stuff and play super aggro, I think it's better for me to just take runes for lane and play super aggro with her. We're f Wait, we're playing against double lift, by the way. Oh, buddy boy. I smell a new sub notification. It's hard to get one better than what we already got now. See, look how much damage I blocked with second with the bone plating versus this guy already. Now he's wasting a sweeper. He thought I warded that bush, but I didn't. I just had vision on him. Um, we know Rek'Sai started topside and he's probably pathing towards bot. So we need to shove this next wave in, I think. Yeah, Tristana's on the same page as me. Shove the wave. I don't care about taking the poke. We just need to get this wave in. This is kind of my fault, to be honest. But at the same time, my teammates played that really badly. How is it your fault? Well, I shouldn't have backed. We had full prio bot. We had full prio bot and I recalled. We would have won that fight if I was there at the start. But at the same time, they played the fight badly. I was still there and we could have played the fight a lot better. But it's fine. I mean, we're denying a crap load mid here. Mandate or Ludens? Ludens and Mandate are bad though. Nico needs HP. Ludens doesn't give that. Mandate isn't good because Nico can't proc it very well. Only off of her root and ulti, which aren't the easiest to hit. And you can't really spam them, so you're not going to get that much efficiency out of it. I'd rather have Shirelia's. How do we get that though? Maybe instead of this, I should have got armor. Then I could have got a control ward, but I have my this, so I don't really need control wards. I can get enough vision without it, I think. Ah, oh, we got double lift's heal out. That's not bad. Double lift heal, not bad at all. Dude, I just smurfed on double lift so hard. Damn it, she wasn't by herself, but it's fine. We still trade kills, get the Seraphine ult. These guys are up top. It was a coin flip play for sure. It was a coin flip play that ended up not being worth because their jungler was there. But again, we're diving top, right? So if Rek'Sai doesn't show bot, do they dive top? Probably not. You weren't killing, calling about Ganger challenge. Yeah, I told you, most people who stream and challenge your ego don't, ELO, don't read their chat. I'm telling you guys, how insane is it that I hit challenger while reading pretty much every message in chat always, right? Like. It's not me just trying to like boost, like legit, most people who stream in Challenger don't read their chat. Like I hit Challenger while reading chat. Like that's a huge handicap on its own right there. Can I play any more Vex support? Uh, I play Vex support sometimes if it's a good matchup. And if Nico's banned, I'll play it. I think Vex is really good into Leona.
Okay. This mid wave looks like it's pushing towards the enemy, so might as well see if we can get there and pick up some of it before it all just gets denied by freaking the wave. I'm not building tank support item. Uh, I am building the tank support item. And I build the tank support item because it makes me tanky. And Nico likes being tanky because she likes to run into close range of the enemy, which means I'm always at risk of getting harassed in one shot, like I got one shot there. Alright, that's a wrap. Rocket shield for y'all. Oh, I'm inting. I right, spelt these in spelled relish shield because mana regen and it's super easy to stack it and get early gold. It's a tuber. Yup. It's definitely a tuber next Monday. Beating double lift, that's always a good tuber. The relic shield, I'll just be getting less gold as early, so less snowball. And I can proc this, and this gives me mana regen and more AP. The mana regen is really big though. The number of times this ADC has died solo this game, it's crazy. Like out of his seven deaths, so many of them are just solo by himself in the middle of nowhere. Yet he types to the team and acts like he's like carrying. Hmm, maybe a bit int, but it's fine. Gwen's split pushing top. Maybe a bit int, but it's fine because we clean these up anyways. And that was without an ADC. We just, by the way, we just 3v5. We just 3v5 because Gwen was splitting and our ADC was dead and just won. They're kind of mad. Of course they're mad. It's League of Legends. When do people lose and not be mad? Well, if I was literally the bottom of Challenger, if I lost this game, I would have demoted out of Challenger, but now I'm... I'm a game safely into Challenger now. Victory. Oh, feels good. Feels good and versus double lift. So I deserve it too. It's not like I just got it versus randos. You were raging all game. I'll give it to my Zinzao. Subdiff, oh, you know it.